I'm kind of excited because today I got these new five string bass flat wound slinkies. Cobalt flat wounds from Ernie Ball have become my favorite strings on the bass. And when they started making the five string set, I thought, boy, it's time to upgrade my uh, old Ibanez here. You wanna watch me change my strings? This is gonna be so exciting. These are uh, DR strings and they're not bad. Certainly not, they're good bass strings. But they're uh, wore out and it's time to change them. And I thought, why not try this flat wound set from Ernie Ball? The strings come with instructions, which I completely ignore. Here's what I do. Lock that in. This Ibanez has a top loading bridge, which is also my preference. I don't put a whole lot of string on the tuner. Here's the tuner I'm stringing. Here's the next tuner. About halfway between it and the last tuner is where I'll cut this. Then you insert it in the post and then wind it up. Having too much string on your tuner leads to tuning instability. You will have tuning issues on a guitar or a bass if you put too much string on there. I see people say they need three winds on there and all this and I, no. You see, that's all I got on there. Next string. And I tend to save them because when I get some other piece of junk in here I'm trying to fix up and make into a nice bass, um, I'll use those strings to set it up. Stick it in the hole in the post. So we just lock that in there. This isn't really science, guys. It's just kind of winging it. But um, I am very careful to not put too much string on here. Uh, when I started out, we didn't have YouTube and online tutorials to teach you how to do all this stuff. And the first time I changed strings, I used to try and put like all the string on there. And it leads to horrible tuning, instability, and all kinds of terrible issues. Don't bother with that. If you get one complete turn on here, you're fine. The end of the string goes into the hole on the tuner. Then I kind of hold it like that. It's sort of an odd thing, I guess, if you're looking at it, but I've done it for so many years that I don't even think about it these days. Now I'm gonna change my G-string. <laughs> this set, <clears throat> the G-string is a 45. Cut that off. Now once I've got it all strung up and ready to go, the last thing I have to do is stretch them in a little bit because they will stretch just a little bit. Bass strings aren't as bad as guitar strings about this, but just give them a good pull. That stretches the string a little bit, make sure it's seated right in the nut and the bridge and the tuner. And the reason I switched to these is because I love the feel of them and I love the sound of them. They're not as bright and ringy as typical round wounds, but they're not as dead sounding as typical flat wounds. And for a five string, That's why I like Ernie Ball, Cobalt, Flatwound, Bass Strings, Slinkies. Keep on rocking, holding this thing.